March 6th, St. Colette. After a holy childhood, Colette joined a society of devout women called the Beguines. Not finding their state sufficiently austere, she entered the Third Order of St. Francis and lived in a hut near her parish church in Picardy. Here she passed four years in extraordinary penance when St. Francis, in a vision, bade her to undertake the reform of her order, then much relaxed. She doubted for a time and was struck with muteness for three days and blindness for another three. Finally, fortified by ecclesiastical authority, she established the reform throughout a large part of Europe and, in spite of the most violent opposition, founded seventeen convents of the strict observance. By the same wonderful prudence she helped to heal the great schism which then afflicted the church. The fathers in council at Constance were in doubt as to how to deal with three claimants to the tiara, John the Twenty-Third, Benedict the Thirteenth, and Gregory the Twelfth. At this crisis, Colette, together with St. Vincent Ferrier, wrote to the fathers to depose Benedict the Thirteenth, who alone refused his consent to a new election. This was done, and Martin V was elected to the great good of the Church. An historical note is that no other pope ever elected took the name John until Cardinal Roncalli took it in the year 1958. St. Colette never ceased to pray for the church, while the devils, for their part, never ceased to assault her. They swarmed around her in the form of hideous insects, buzzing and stinging her tender skin. They even brought into her cell the decaying corpses of public criminals, and, assuming monstrous forms themselves, struck her savage blows. Sometimes they would appear in the most seductive guise and tempt her by many deceits to sin. St. Colette once complained to our Lord that the demons prevented her from praying. Cease then, said the devil to her, your prayers to the great master of the church, and we will cease to torment you, for you torment us more by your prayers than we do you. Yet in the end the Virgin of Christ triumphed over their threats and allurements, and she said she would count the day during which she suffered nothing for her God, the unhappiest of her life. She died on March 6th in the year 1447 in a transport of intercession for sinners in the church. St. Colette was beatified in the year 1740 by Pope Clement XII and canonized in the year 1807 by Pope Pius VII. She is invoked by childless couples desiring to become parents and is also the patroness of expected mothers and sick infants.